So if you have a passion and you are able to turn that passion into a career, you are one very lucky person. But imagine having two passions and you turn both into a career. Oh yeah, and that's what Paul Cullen has done and he's made his way from the Del Marva Life Kitchen where he created the best Ch kitchen, <laughs> kitchen, kitchen cacciatore. Yeah, I knew I was going to say that. Chicken cacciatore I've ever eaten. Now he's in the Mid-South Audio stage. Uh, please welcome again, Paul Cullen. Thank, Thank you for you. being oh, here. Thanks. Thank you. Now, for those who may not be aware, you toured with the group Bad Company. Yes, What I was did. that like? Um, Pretty amazing, yeah. as you could imagine. Yeah, playing in front of 16 to 20,000 people every night. Wow. Uh, everything that went with it. Ritz Carlton's uh, million dollar tour buses, first class flying. The, there you are yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Look that's, at all that hair. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> so you were living the rock and roll dream. I did, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was it was incredible, uh, especially to play in a band that I saw back in 1976 when I was 16 years old. Never would have imagined. Yeah. Now, I think mm -hmm. the last time you were here, you told us that your style has changed a little. Yeah, I, I always liked jazz. I, I grew up listening to, uh, my mom loved Jose Feliciano and Sergio Mendez and Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Yeah, so I yeah. think because she played that all the time, that's what I kind of gravitate to when I picked up guitar 10 years ago. Yeah. So you, like we said, you, you you have been out there, you've done mm -hmm. the recording, you've done the touring and everything. We have a lot of musicians come on the Mid-South Audio stage um, and they're just getting started out. What piece of advice would you give them? Uh, get another job. Uh, no, no. Uh, you know, if you're really passionate about whatever you do, mm -hmm. uh, you have to go full force. You know, that means not dabbling in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you actually do it. And I would suggest to, if you're going to be a solo artist, uh, I would suggest to write your own music, record it yourself, put out your own CDs, and then build your brand that way. Okay. You know, because thinking you're going to get a record deal is pretty minimal. Even, I mean, that was 20 years ago. It really is now. Wow. And, uh, yeah. You know, but you can build the brand yourself and then record your own CDs and play out and sell CDs and do private parties, uh, restaurants or whatever. I think that's a great way to start. Okay. So there you go, straight yeah. from the horse's mouth. Oh, that sounded worse than I meant for it too. Oh, thanks. So what are you doing for us today? <laughs> I'm going to do a song called Cinque Divine. Cinque means five. Yeah. And Vine means... Wine. Wine. Oh, wines. That's perfect. See? There we go. All right. From bad company to good dinner company to the Mid South Audio stage, please welcome Paul Collin.
Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Paul Cullen, you can read more about him on DelmarvaLife.com. Now, we're not done with Paul just mm -mm. yet. He's going to perform another tune. Stay tuned. Delmarva Life is going to be right back. <laughs>